This scenery is like in a Degas picture. A complete set for open air macro photography. My mobile number is on this card.
Good evening. I'm Nicole Bonnet from the New York FBI office. Bonsoir. When did it happen? I'm sorry? Since when is the 18th district a part of New York? My visit was arranged. Didn't your boss tell you? We've got a custom here. We try not to annoy other people too much before the weekend. I see that courtesy toward women is no longer practiced in Paris. Oh, I'm sorry, mademoiselle. If you've come here just to enjoy Paris, I'm happy to serve. Your superiors have asked the FBI for help. I came here because you suspect that a serial killer we've nicknamed the Puppeteer has moved to France. I must warn you that you won't be allowed to partake in any investigative actions. Don't worry. I'm not here to take the credit. I'm just an observer. Well, in that case, please don't touch anything. Can I ask a question? Of course. The Yanks are allowed to learn, too. How is the woman killed? We'll know that after the autopsy. I don't see any wounds or traces of blood. There are numerous other ways of killing a human being. Yes, but our puppeteer ties his victims, cuts their arteries, and lets them slowly bleed to death. Such a lack of haste indicates great self-confidence. If it really was the puppeteer who killed the danseuse, he must have killed her earlier and brought her here already dead. Why go to all this trouble? That's the very essence of this case. The effort put into murdering a beautiful girl and posing her like in a painting by Degas. You Americans are crazy about our artists, aren't you? The killer doesn't have to be American. But as far as we can tell, he's stopped killing in the States. A Frenchman, perhaps. He's an artist, am I right? All we know about the puppeteer has been sent over to your department. I'll read it on Monday, but now we deserve a short break. I would like to invite you for Margaret de Canard to a certain restaurant. Could I stay here a bit longer? My colleagues are waiting for me. I'd like to look around a bit more. It's never too late to learn, but to pass up on gourmandise, <laughs> as you wish. Thank you, Inspector. But please, don't touch anything. That officer will stay here until the coroner arrives. I'll make it. It won't take long. Do you know why I took this particular man along with me today? Because you don't like him? Oui, bravo! So you're staying here after all? No, I'll be gone in a moment. He's gone at last. A truly unpleasant frog. Nicole Bonnet speaking. Do you know anything about our killer yet? Well, we do have another dead girl here. I'm just not sure if it's the puppeteer's handiwork. It might be a copycat. After all, the press wrote a lot about him, even in France. Find out as quickly as you can. The French asked for our help, but the inspector's keeping all the information away from me. Could you intervene? Not everything can be done through official channels. You'll have to convince him, somehow. He doesn't want me here. Well, perhaps he feels threatened, you know, on a professional level. What, you don't know that feeling? Either way, collect some documents and photos and send them today. I can't work behind his back. Listen, you don't have too much time. My accountant is questioning me about these bills from Paris. These can't drag on endlessly. I'm doing the best that I can. I want this trip of yours to be a success, but if something goes wrong, I won't be the one going down. Is everybody already scared of me? Enough of that. Get to work. Does the Bureau want me to fail? I have to show them I can manage without their help. I should take a photo of the body. I 
I shouldn't touch the body without protective gloves. Someone took a lot of effort to make this little doll. What are these strange crystals around her lips? Why aren't there any traces of blood? I shouldn't touch the body without protective gloves. Did the killer break the mirrors because he couldn't stand his own reflection? Is this knocked over chair the proof of a struggle or an element of the stage design? What an amazing view. I wonder if I'll find some time to get on top of the Eiffel Tower. They missed this fingerprint. I think that the inspector will find it most interesting. There's a sign on the glass. Nicole, think. A modest table for office tasks. This stapler is so heavy that it can be used as a hammer. Sheets of paper in a dancing room. Seems we have a new Degas here. Widely available and indispensable for field work. Such plastic bags can also be used in a different way. What does this button do? The names on this list mean nothing to me. This tool must have multiple uses. A box of old matches. Me smoking a pipe. I would reek of tobacco just like my grandpa did. Last thing I need is to grow a beard. Me smoking a pipe. I would reek of tobacco just like my grandpa did. Last thing I need is to grow a beard. The cotton wool is probably used to wipe sweat from the forehead. I sometimes regret that I stopped taking piano lessons. This place has seen better times. The owner of the room clearly finds savings wherever he can. You have a pencil. Will a pen do? No, I need a pencil with lead inside. Hang on, I do. You can keep it, I don't need it. Thank you. Thanks, that's all. It's 
small wonder there's no light there. are still blown. The artists of old use such pencils. Nicole, think. We need an alternative solution. No can do. I already have a photo of this piece of evidence. Hmm, a wooden stick. That's rare these days. The shadow clearly points to one of the planks. This tool must have multiple uses. We need an alternative solution. There are numbers on the bottom of this plank. 1793. Someone took a lot of effort to make this little doll. I already have a photo of this piece of evidence. The 
names on this list mean nothing to me. The fingerprints are much more visible now. don't match. What are these strange crystals around her lips? A box of old matches. The cotton wool is probably used to wipe sweat from the forehead. Voila! I have a swab of cotton wool for taking samples. This sample should be examined in the lab. Knocked over chair, the proof of a struggle or an element of the stage design. Aren't you bored with this waiting? Oui, I am, mademoiselle. All my colleagues have gone to a restaurant and are now off for the weekend. I'm leaving, don't worry. But first, listen to me carefully, please. Of course. Here is the evidence. Please, give it to Inspector Petty. On Monday? Maybe you can still catch him at the police station. He sure won't be thrilled. Tell him I found new traces and a clue, possibly written by the killer. That will floor him. Will you spare a few minutes of your weekend for this? Oui, mademoiselle. The inspector has my card with the address of the hotel I'm staying at. If he's got any questions, he can call me at any time. Very well, I'll tell him that. I'm finished. Are you leaving now? No, I have to wait for the guys to come pick up the body. 